So here's a cool example using iota. An iota is something you could use when you declare a constant. So I could say a is equal to iota, and then b, c, d, and those are all going to increment starting at 0 and moving on up. And so I'll just copy this. I'm going to show you how to build something cool with iota, and uh, we'll work up to it here. So this is the first step, is just understanding iota, 0, 1, 2, 3. And then to build on that, the next step is I want to kind of look at some binary. And so let's say I had the number 42, and we'll just say x colon equal 42. 42. I'm going to do some format printing here and change this to print f, print f for format printing and then use uh, some format printing verbs and print decimal and then an escape character for a tab and then print binary and then uh, and then an escape character for a new line and pass in x and pass in x there we go and format all that and here is 42 in decimal and 42 in binary so it's kinda cool we can see binary uh, so the next step in the process is I want to show you bit shifting and shifting bits. So uh, let's say we have um, this same code. I guess that's okay. We'll just drop that in there. And uh, we'll go with, uh, yeah, we'll go with that. And then I'm going to do y is colon equal to x. And I'm going to shift all those bits over one. And so I'll show you what that means if you've never seen bit, sh bit shifting <laughs> bit shifting before. I don't know what else I was about to say there. All right, so there's bit shifting. And it took all these bits and it just shifted them over one. <laughs> so kind of you could think of it as adding a zero on the right, but it shifted them all one way. So this, you know, this one right here is in the one, two, three, four, five, six position. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it used to be right there, but it shifted it over one. And so now this is 84 in binary, so the decimal is 84. It like shifted all the bits and it changed it. That's kind of cool. And uh, numeral systems are their own thing. I'm not going to go into explain that right now. But then the last thing I want to show you is this. So uh, let's just start out with a kilobyte. And a kilobyte is equal to 1,024 bytes. And we'll grab that and we'll print that out. And that becomes KB. And KB. And then uh, we've got a megabyte and a gigabyte. And uh, a megabyte is 1,024 kilobytes and a gigabyte is 1024 uh, megabytes <laughs> there we go and now let's print all of those out so we have a megabyte megabyte gigabyte a gigabyte I'm gonna drop an extra tab in here because I've done this example and I know what happens and I want them all to line up and now if I run this 1,024, 1, 000, whatever that is, that's like 1 million something, right? But here, this is interesting. So it just shifted one over 10 places. There's 10 zeros here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then there's 10 more, so it got shifted over 10 more. And then there's 10 more. Well, we could just use iota to do that. So instead of doing this, we could say a kilobyte. A kilobyte is equal to a one that's been shifted over 10 spaces. And the bit went over. We put 10 zeros in front of the bit, whatever, whichever way you want to think of it. Now when I run this, it's going to be the same thing. Well, I could start to use iota for this. And so I could say uh, that here, up here, I will first use my zero iota and throw it away. And this one is going to be iota times 10, which will be 1 times 10, which is exactly the same answer. And now what we could do is we could do this. And we could do uh, a megabyte and a gigabyte. And we could get rid of these. And we could get rid of this one. And, uh, and now this is going to shift over 10. And now it's going to shift over 20 because this will be 2. 
And so there's your 20. And then it'll shift over 30 because that will be 3. And there's your 30. <laughs> now we run this. Same answer. So that's pretty cool using bit shifting, shifting bits, and also using IOTA.